Fedzaev versus RDA. You know, Fedzaev's a very interesting one to me. Earlier in the week, Conor McGregor made some comments publicly to Fedzaev, trying to be helpful. Something about an axe kick was a technique, but he was trying to be helpful. He was genuinely watched a Fedzaev workout video and contributed his two cents. Now, you must understand, if you're in the position of Conor McGregor within the sport, and you're in the position of Fazayev within the sport. If you're in Fazayev's shoes, you welcome a comment from Conor McGregor. You thank him. You're almost honored that he did it, and you hope he keeps doing it. No, Fazayev told Conor to shove it up his ass. Wasn't looking to get in a fight with him. Didn't want his opinion. That just got my attention. I have no greater point than that. Other than he, I've got, he's got my attention. He goes into the fight with RDA. Now, one thing about Fazayev, and I'm talking about the character. I'm talking about the personality, the A-side, B-side. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Because he looks like a bad guy. He looks like a scary guy to me. Like, Fedzayev, if you see him in the street, does not seem like the kind of guy that you would want to upset. Can we agree with that? But he appears to be very jovial. Oh, and by the way, I think he wants to be funny guy. I don't know if he wants to be good guy or bad guy. He wants to be funny guy. Who'd he call out? He called out uh, Hasbullah. And now he called out tennis player with the same first name as him. I mean, the story's not great. It's his gimmick. I appreciate that he's sticking with it. I want him to get a new gimmick. I don't like it. I don't like that waste of time. But after he got his call out out of the way, he went to Justin Gaethje. Now that has my attention. And for Fazayev to be able to get a fight with somebody as, as the notoriety of Justin Gaethje, I think a lot of you are going to blow right past that. Say he's not ready for that. That isn't that isn't going to happen. Look, all of the stars at some point in their career get used to build the next star. All of them. And we all know the deal going in. Somebody did it for us, and eventually you got to do it over there too. Now, we've got the guys at 155, not only the great fighters, but they're stars. And we got five or six of them. But it's very hard to get up in that loft. You may remember when Tony Ferguson extended the olive branch for a fighter that you now know as Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira, the champion, does not exist without the sportsmanship of Tony Ferguson. And I only remind you that because while Fitzaya versus Gaethje is at the big box office, we all love it. Us hardcore, we love it. That makes a lot of sense to us. You probably think it's going to be a pretty hard booking. I don't disagree with you, but sooner or later, that's exactly how Gaethje will get booked. And Gaethje is a guy coming off a loss. Fedzaev is a guy coming off a win. I'm not predicting that fight for you. I'm sharing for you that Fedzaev is now a main eventer who just beat a former world champion. RDA has been in that cage. Look, nobody's ever beaten RDA. If you go back and look at this, nobody has ever beaten RDA where then something wonderful didn't happen for their career. I and mean, I mean right away. Kamar Usman was having a hard time getting up and known. He fights RDA, boom. He's Usman. Khabib has been in there with RDA. I mean, we, we can play this game. Oh, Colby Covington's in there with RDA. We can play this game all you want if you get through RDA. I won't use the term stepping stone because I realize that that's meant as a pejorative, but it's a very real thing, and that does seem to be the bar. Anybody that can deal with already something huge happens in their career. Fitzgerald just beat a former world champion in a main event. He's going somewhere big, guys. Why wouldn't it be Gaethje? You don't want him to fight at Gaethje. Who else do you want to see Gaethje fight? And who is the gentleman? Am I saying his name right? Uh, G Gambot? Gambot? He just fought. It, it was two Saturdays ago, and Dana White associated Gambot with Justin Gaethje. So all of a sudden, you start to see that the point that I'm making is pretty relevant. That all the stars, at some point, and they don't just get, they don't just get pushed into that category. They got to go do it one time. If you succeed and you beat that guy, you go right back in fighting with the stars. But it's just the way that the sport goes. And Fitzaya versus, that's very possible. I can't close my eyes and imagine Justin Gaethje backing down. I also can't close my eyes, search my memory, and tell you anybody that's called him out. Can you guys? Do you know someone that's called out Justin Gaethje? For that brief period of time where he had the championship, maybe you'll find something along those lines. Somebody wanted to, you know, the big fight. Who wants to fight Justin Gaethje? 
And that is a war of all wars. And it does very much go in line with the style of Fitz I just got to bring that to you. When I look at RDA, RDA has learned how to do everything in this sport except quit. Every fighter learns how to quit. Somewhere along the way, and they know how to make it look good too. They know how to make it look good for TV. It's generally done in the form of something the kids call a rear naked choke. But RDA's never learned it. RDA on a average night will take more damage than I, I'll just insert myself, than I would take in two years of fighting. Truly. Every RD fight, RDA fight, they're going 22 minutes. He's going 25 minutes. He's going 18, 19 minutes. He's always in championship rounds. It is the hardest schedule of anybody that I've seen. And I really like that he was at 155 pounds for this just because I knew RDA was settling in. He's the guy that's bouncing back and forth. But if he really wants that title run, which he does, he's got to pick a division. Gets put in a main event up and cumber with Fitzsimon. I thought it was a good fight. By the way, RDA was losing that according to the judges. He was losing that when he went down and it got stopped. I didn't agree with that. That surprised me. Now, I'm not bullish. I just, if you would have asked me who's winning this fight, I would have said RDA. Point being, he's still very relevant. He's still very competitive. This is still a main eventer. This is still a guy that people just can't run through. So what do you do with RDA? Tough spot. When I talk about all the stars at some point have to go out to spread the shine to the next generation, that's what you just saw with RDA. That's exactly what you just saw. Boom, Fitzayev. Here he is. Here he is. He's a brawler. Fitzayev had some questions to answer. Can he go championship rounds? When you're a guy that's built like Fitzayev, okay, you got to judge the book by its cover, right? You don't want to do that in any walk of life, except in this. It's the whole reason we face them off. You can guess. You can try to guess their level of fitness. You can try to guess how serious they've taken it. You can try to juxtapose one body type with the last time that you saw him fight. We don't know if he can go championship rounds. Big muscle shark, right? Those guys have a hard time going late. So he proved that. He not only proved that he can do it, he had his best moment within the championship rounds. It's a big deal for Fitzayev. It's a big deal. And I don't want his call out of the tennis player or this, this, this silly whatever he's doing. I don't want that to get lost. P push that aside. He called out Gaethje. He called out Justin Gaethje. I don't know another idea for Gaethje. And I don't know how much longer Gaethje wants to do this, by the way. I mean, this is a guy who has achieved just about everything. This is a guy who saved his money. This is a guy that's been doing it for a really long time. The UFC is for champions and contenders. If you prove at some point you are no longer a champion or a contender, you're no longer in the UFC. It's a really interesting thing. Where I don't know that we need to push Justin in any direction. I don't know that Justin's in a spot where he needs to... Everybody loves him. He's got the championships. His mantle is full. It's got a beautiful gold belt on it. But Gaethje was talking earlier in the week, even about Volkanovsky. Somebody pinned him down on an interview, and they're bringing up Volkanovsky. And Justin's doing his best to not back down, and at the same time not give a hard time to a guy that's in a glorious moment who happens to be in a different weight class. He was a little bit tongue-tied, quite frankly. I think he was caught off guard by being asked about it, but all of a sudden he's got Fasayev. I haven't, I haven't seen him asked about that. I'm big on the idea. I realize there's a discrepancy in star power there. But we just saw RDA do it over the weekend. We know that it's a very real thing. What else do you have in mind for Justin Gaethje, typically within the sport, it's a policy, not a rule. If you lost your last fight, you're taking on somebody that lost their last fight. If you won your last fight, you're taking on somebody that won their last fight. So if you, if you can hijack that system in Justin's spot, right, whoever his next fight is, isn't going to be as big as his last fight. It was against Oliveira. It was a championship. We're told that it was the biggest pay-per-view of the year. I like the Fitzive idea. I want to know what you guys think, but would anybody object to those two doing a fight? 